you guys. I'm Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We are at Winter NAMM 2017 in Anaheim, California, talking to Johnny from Digitech. Johnny, how's it going? Good, man. How are you doing? Doing good. You guys have three new pedals here. We just heard the freak out, right? That's correct. We have our freak out, which is our natural feedback emulator. So you play a note, it feeds back. No more having to X the stage or go up to your amp and put your guitar in front of it or stick your head stock to the, uh, the amp itself to get feedback. You just step on the pedal, clean, distorted, any level. You want to walk us through the controls? Absolutely. So <clears throat> you basically have a momentary switch where you just step on the pedal and the feedback will come in, then a range, so how fast the uh, feedback will come in, and then the bottom knob is there is your frequency. So you can select anything from first, seconds, thirds, natural highs and natural lows, so you get different types of feedback. Real simple to use. Seriously, just hit a note, step on the pedal. But there's a cool nice. feature in it where if you turn off the dry, and I'm flipping this knob right here, switch, so now I have no dry signal. Now all I'm going to get is the feedback effect. Like an Ebo. Almost like an Ebo type sound. Now the momentary, is that other toggle called momentary? Yeah, the other one's momentary, so basically when I step on it, I'm just kind of using it as expression that way. If I turn that off and go into latch mode, I can be anywhere on the stage and not have to sit at the pedal and do it. So as soon as I hold a note... Thing. That's pretty cool. Can we hear a couple other settings on the yeah. type or? Yeah. Here's a lower feedback. Cool. And then of course the natural, uh, the natural low feeds back at different frequencies, so it's not so precise on the feedback. More, more like an amp would react. See how they're different notes there is feeding back on? The harmonics, yeah. Yeah, so that's the freak out. How much does that go for? That's 179 and it's a total game changer. Sweet. Okay, so, next up we've got the uh, rubberneck. Yeah, the DoD rubberneck. It's our brand new analog delay. We kind of went with that vintage vibe on it for more of a, you know, dual. We took basically the size of two pedals, put them together and got that really cool look. So it's, a, it's an analog delay. But the reason we call it the rubberneck You get that like kind of meeting, elastic playing with a feedback knob or something? Yeah, it's kind of just taking a pitch, a pitch thing and doing it. Now it also does oscillation. That's pretty cool. Now it looks like the, the two foot switches also have dual functions, right? Depending on a couple of toggles, is that right? Yeah, so you know, the, the main one is uh, just on and off. But then if you step on it and hold it down, that's where you get the rubbernecking. The other one is a tap tempo and the regen. So you don't have to toggle anything to switch those functions, it's just whether you momentary or hold it down. Correct, exactly. Right, well, how much does the rubber net go for? 249 Cool. And then lastly? Lastly, we're running everything through our cab driver. So this is a speaker simulator, which allows you to take your pedal and run it directly into a PA, which is what we're doing, or run it straight into your DAW for recording. It works for guitar and bass. It has seven different types of uh, speaker cabs in there, so anything from a uh, 212 American, 212 British, to 412 Greenback, to a single 8, uh, you name it, and then if you flip it over on the bass side, 
You can have a, and run in, run out stereo. You can have a 410 and a 15 or two 10s and four 10s, whatever combination you can think of and run it. Is together. that you coming through the rubber neck? Yeah, oh it's still, feed, still feeding back. It just keeps jetting, and jetting, and jetting. Nice. So without the uh, without the cab driver, we have it engaged right now. If I turn it off, it's real wiry. And we're, and we're actually micing a PA here. Yeah, we're kind of doing it different. We mic up the PA. So this is with it on. Off again. So imagine being able to uh, just take your pedal board and your guitar to a gig. Not have to worry about carrying an amplifier. You know, like me, I don't want to carry amps anymore. They're heavy, right? So I would take the cab driver, plug in, come out stereo, have a 212 on one side and a 412 on the other, and just have a great sounding rig. Or if you have two guitar players in your band, you could essentially, since it's got dual inputs as well, ins and out stereo, you could have another guitar player plug into the other side and have a totally different amp on his own channel than you do through the nice. same pedal. Now, can you? This is a on top of that is a separate. Well, it's not a separate product. It comes with it, but that's like a, a settings guard. Can we take that off and show the controls? Absolutely. So, so what? So what you have here on the top, on the on the far left side is your level and your sizing of your cabinet. So you can go in and, and voice the different cabinets. And none of this is done with like a software editor. It's all just the knobs? Everything's in the pedal, absolutely. And then the pedals on the other side are your different types of cabs you can switch through. Top being A, uh, B being the bottom on both of them. Then the, the toggle in the middle is either for guitar or bass. And what are some of the options? I can't really read it from here. Well, um, it's just it just says like C1s, cap 2, cap 3, but everything from American 212s to vintage 212s to a single 8 to a uh, 412, 412 greenback, you name it. Cool. How much does that go for? 149. Nice. All right, why don't you, you uh, close us out here by showing, telling everyone where they can go online to find out more. You can find out more about our products at digitech.com, of course your favorite online retailers, and be sure to hit the shops as well. They're going to be shipping in March and April. We'll see you soon. Thanks, Johnny. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Sean Hammond from PremierGuitar.com.